Stones Committee meeting uh, December 9th at 2 p.m. and report that the Chairman Jim Thune will report to the family uh, emergency situation on No. 4, but uh, hopefully everything is all right there and uh, if he can make it, he will. If he can, he can't. Okay, so he's excused. So we're gonna, what we're going to do today is we're going we're gonna to go through the items uh, with the uh, staff people on this uh, committee, facility committee report, and we're going to take no action here. We'll move away to the full board for action tonight. So we won't do any, any, any action here. We'll just go through it, and if there's something that needs to be addressed, we'll address it, and then we'll move it to the full committee tonight. So with that, um, Wade, would you like to? Oh, well, why don't we go ahead and we'll start with the airport. Um, the first item is New York State Department of Transportation Supplemental Grant. Fundamentally, this is a good thing. What this is, this is the, uh, this is primarily a housekeeping issue. But the state increased the amount of aid uh, from what they had originally on two projects, both the terminal demolition, the maximum state share payable would now be 4600 as opposed to $4,000. And on the uh, runway 927, the precision approach, uh, that should be a PAPI replacement, precision approach. Uh, the maximum state share payable would be 4570 versus the old number of 3973. Uh, what this does is a housekeeping issue that basically uh, approves the change in the dollar amount and the reporters will be to accept that. Anything else? No, well, that's. Uh, the next item is over on page 8. This is the local government efficiency grant for the water capacity study. Um, <coughs> the city uh, partners with Burley and Burley is a committee. I always put it. Really, the Reading Act Associates to prepare a report on the city's water system. And what they found through that report, they found that there is adequate water supply there to serve a larger system for the city of Argus to become a regional provider of water to adjacent communities. What transpired out of this is the five participating entities, uh, including the group of territory, uh, would like to pursue a $10,000 shared services grant. What this would mean is each community, each agency would kick in $1,000 uh, only if the grant were approved to make up the $5,000 match. And the four other communities have already passed this for the resolution of this I should add this is for a December 10th submission. There's no obligation to us if the city of Arkansas does not get the grant. Facilities Committee is because this will provide water services, ultimately has the potential to provide water services to the airport. Come over to do. I would just, just comment on it. I think the city's on the right uh, direction here to, to head out in this uh, course because what's greater than using our uh, water system and our sewer system for economic development? What's greater than that? and uh, how it's been found to be paid for and what they're charged. That's a different day and a different day. But I think it's great. So I wanted to say that I, I'm full of support of that. Next item is uh, page 11 to basically 11 to 15. What this deals with, this deals with the transient hangar project color selection of the building. Um, traditionally, any time we've had any uh, choices with colors, that type of thing was brought up before the facilities committee. And I believe, Steve, we have samples of the, the colors. Uh, there's that chart here. It's not a good representation. It's just that classic behavior of the matches really worked out there. But that looks yellow, but that's not what we really have it. So we have what the classic beige is. You'll see them on page 13. Uh, what's Recommended it. Basically, everything's the Egyptian white, and then on the outside it's all classic beige. But I don't know where the original, we did that one original 
matches the color of the existing existing key hammer that's already up there. What color is that? That uh, beige. It, uh, it looks yellow there. That's not. This is a copy. Of, this is the original. Here, that one yeah. here. It actually looks more like a CRP. I don't want to confuse it. But just... well, that's the color of our building built there now. Yeah, the classic beige matches up the back. And then the white, it sets the seat here to align the pieces in the inside. I think it's white, so the, the white tends to help screw it up. When you're inside the building, the lighting is a lot better. With the white color. But that's what the, the sheet before is correct, is what we're recommending, so that's what you, you know, we can discuss after the board. But. What do you want to recommend in this sheet, this color here? That black, classic beige yeah. on the outside and then the Egyptian white for some of the trim and then the inside, the interior wall. Yeah, so it'll give you a feeling like the roof would be the Egyptian white, but the walls would be the classic beige. Uh, the ladder would be the Egyptian white. Uh, the eaves would be Egyptian white. The frame would be quarter frame and the base frame would be that beige. Classic beige. So I'll try to get a hold of the uh, original thing. Well, I don't want to have any problem. Okay. Just get the color. This is the closest thing that matches yeah. everything. I don't want any of this green. I don't want that green. So what color is over? Next, the next one for the airport is the change order of Optech and Verbal Services. Uh, Steve, you want to walk us through this one? Yeah. Um, these are kind of the housekeeping things of the extra work that needs to be done. There's an allowance uh, in the project for $20,000. And these are uh, these are things that needed to be done. Uh, some of them relate right to the, the, the old foundation there. We need to protect that by some of the FAA rules, so um, it was recommended that we install a temporary chain link fence and uh, reflective markers. So when you see, uh, uh, you see on there, uh, this is all about that chain link fence. And uh, part of that, when all the, everything around the uh, existing hangar there's a, uh, we need more lighting. What happened? We lost two lights right around there. So um, they proposed right by the fuel farm to install a 26 foot, that's the maximum you can go, a 26 foot high, uh, kind of high mass light that they take care of the fuel farm. We kind of like that area. And there was two lights way out in the old parking lot, and then we took that down. And we, without great expense, we weren't going to go over and relight that. So we decided to put it right by the uh, fuel farm. So that was the next one. And then um, there was also a, uh, uh, let's see what else is in here. Is it a color on those? One, two, and three. Yeah. Who yeah. can put the light up? Um, I think I've got hired. SNL is doing the uh, new hanger. They're doing the electric there, so Optech asked them to, uh, to go ahead and uh, price that. I think the backup's in there. I think there was a quote there. I'm sure. Can you pack it there, too? Just to add to that, there is a, a picture of those uh, reflective uh, markers there as well. Yeah, let me see what they look like. It's over on page uh, 22. So that will, this change order will complete that. Right. Yeah, Al, one thing that wasn't in that was there, um, there was, we had to remove the, uh, was a D-mark that, in other words, Verizon came in with their phone lines in the old hangar. So if they tear the building down, we had to take that D-mark and move it to a temporary location outside of the building. And we paid for that right up front. But in 2000, it was not a uh, problem. That thirty thousand, you just going to reimburse that for what we spent just to get down the way. The work's already been done, but it had to be done for the building to come back. So we'll have that coming back. Yeah. 
could it all uh, spread most, most of this uh, would be uh, all under the, uh, I think it all totals about $16,000, but that's under the $20,000. Does that take a lot of Now, in this case, it would be $15,000. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Change order of fifteen thousand. What's that like? What do you know? The lighting system is it in here? Um, yeah. I think it works. I think it's not all. I might have missed it. Yeah. 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 Y
animal friends. We I'm included the vinyl floor tile and some cold base. So I think the top or the carpet itself that I think is going to be more than it's going to be somewhere maybe I think it's like we have estimates of 1,500 to 1,600. We don't have to put that up with it, right? No. Well, with that, all we do is ask for uh, quotes. Quotes, yeah. yeah. Three different, yeah. Then no, we do that. Yeah. That's all I want. We get more than three. I mean, we get a bunch. Is that easier? I mean, that's, and then you, you, you know the, the, the style of carpet we want, so it's, it's a pretty easy thing to do. So it's less than 10,000. That carpet card, yeah, yeah. All the ones, you know, plenty of that. Okay. So the graph is a little better. Um, the graph done work for us before. Just, um, it was done real, real, real nice work. It did work on that. The old, uh, the, uh, the um, building set. They did the, uh, that was right next to the street of Paris. They worked for the sex of it. They moved out of that old building right here. Here is white right there. Uh, Jeremy Gary. Yeah, um, that's the nice old age. Yeah. But he remodeled that one, that space for him, and that one, but he couldn't have been there. Yeah. Six thousand dollars difference in material between the other, and at the other contractors. Comfortable then? We'll ask about it, Fred, but I, I imagine um, some of that may be things that Bob, like metal studs and sheetrock and things like that, he may, he, you know, he may pick it up to say to his labor, but he may have, I haven't asked him about it, but he may have it in um, surplus stuff. <laughs> uh, I have no problem with Better see him. Let the contractor get it. Who's Seaway? No, everybody else. Yeah, no more than the pay and the rest of them. Oh, there's our friends. They're still in, didn't they? They up a rally. I think that'll get into the part. Well, 27950 
is out for four nine fifty cents. That's the change, and uh, we'll have that ready for the board. We have to get that number to be more thirteen thirty three thirty one. Fifteen thirty three thirty one. You're going to give us another change on this sheet, or are you just going to read it off? Yeah, I'd rather not. I'm going to have to change this to take the prior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can we do that then? Yes. I'm ready to change. Third main main section. Uh, main item is uh, the Port of Arkansas. There's two of us there, and one is surplus equipment. Uh, that was that was really interesting. Yeah, yeah. sixteen thousand one hundred dollars. You got the money yet? Is he going to take it home? Is he going to take it home? We ain't gonna have to store it, are we? <laughs> I mean, we stored it in the crater with the money in the crater for five years. That's right. Well, <laughs> it won't be the first time. <laughs> Just a little humor, that's all. That's right. So, what have we recommended here is that the uh, 91 John Deere car and motor be sold as a CW green at a price of $2,001. And the 1973 Alice Chambers Boss Forklift is a total of $1,000. Happy with that price, too? Yeah. Okay, that's an okay one. Now, because we only got this on the two pieces of equipment, that leads us to the second one over on page 35. We need to reset the number of bits on the 1978 Carex, the 1994 F2 pickup truck. Battery charger and a full um, water charger. We need to set up the pickle truck with a button. Who wants it? Who wants it? Well, I think it's not that, but probably not. Six or seven. Okay. What's the number? Seven thousand. They're almost uh, salvaged now, so you can just call up. You can just call up the guy over there and tell me you're bringing it over. He's going to give you three hundred for it anyway. Uh, drop it down. Drop it down to two hundred. Sure. So you're going to get that for scrap. Yeah. I just sold one. I know. That's two hundred fifty dollars for the whole car. And he picked it up. So you're dropping that to two, right? What's your thoughts on that uh, natural battery charger? So you go fifty bucks. They're no use to us. Is there anybody? Could anybody plug this in? It has the figures. I mean, you can reconfigure it. I, I guess I'm surprised. Uh, no, what kind of power is it? Is it a, 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 a forty? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. It's not a 110. No. I mean, it's 240. But it would charge your forklifts. Like, these were units that were just left with us, like people left building. Oh, you mean a big forklift with all the batteries? Yeah. The battery type forklift. Right. Do we still have one of them? Who the hell does? He doesn't have any. I don't know. Uh, well, I thought maybe, you know, I should have left people in the park. And basically, these have been left with us. Um, and they were just sitting down at the port, and I just wanted to get them out of the way. So you know it's 50 50? 50 50. Okay. So that gives you the right just to sell these things. Yeah. We ain't got to, once the board approves this, Somebody comes in and says, I'll give you 75 bucks for that charger. You can sell. I guess so. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got to put it up and bid one more time. And then that oh, you do it? Well, if we bid one more time. We can just hold it in the car. Okay. I just asked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Anybody would use that 
charger that I haven't seen in 11 years. McCall used to have that. Be able to yeah. That still works. Yeah. You probably couldn't find fire sports. <laughs>
Thank you. 